This is new. First time. It probably would be when I like fell off a stage in the UK and then I went to the doctor and they gave me a lot of codeine. Mm. And it's not legal here and it made me really sick so I hated it. And I had to fly home with like a broken tailbone and I did a lot of codeine. It was like the last day. Yeah, it was uh, it was hard for sure. That sucked. Mm. Um, wisdom teeth? I had to go get like extra wisdom tooth loving in the middle of the tour and considered like finding a replacement or something and then I just pushed through it like an idiot. <laughs> Should have just stopped. Mm. Mine was just the abscess tooth in Europe, but my mom fixed it. Oh yeah. I love you, mom. <sighs> Selfies didn't come around until 2011. Yeah. I don't know. The, yeah. Before the camera phone, there was. But, or people, like, but people still got pictures. Yeah, with you. they would do some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, I don't remember the first time. I just remember the first time it was like a wave, and I was like, "What? The, what the hell?" <laughs> like I was very confused. Uh, my old band was playing in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts at the Palladium and we played the show and usually we, I could just go hang out and talk to people afterward and no one really cared and that was the first time there was like a, a big line wave of people that wanted selfies and I was like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I ever grow out of anything but things, it'll, it'll come back around again. Yeah. Like, I was gonna say I liked Smash Mouth a lot when I was a kid, and now I like them again. So I guess I I grew out of growing out of them. I'd say Raffy. <laughs> Raffy, yeah, you grew yeah, out of Raffy. I just yeah. don't really relate to his lyrics anymore. <laughs> Opals and ben bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is like a psychological question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, and how does that make you feel? Um, I remember pooping my pants. Oh, like I was. That's gonna get cut. I was wearing my. I was like, maybe three, and I had gone off diapers, and I was wearing underwear, and I pooped my pants, and I felt pretty bad. I felt like I disappointed because we had a whole diaper song to get me out of diapers. Yeah. I still remember wow. it. It's pretty good. No more diapers, no more diapers, no more <laughs> diapers for Dylan anymore. And then it goes, it goes in a loop. Uh, and then I poop my pants after that. So. <laughs> yeah, probably. I probably disappointed my whole family. The get and the more fa diapers. <laughs> yeah. Get more diapers. Yeah. Sully the family name. <laughs> I, I've always loved Radiohead, but I saw them at Coachella and I watched like their first 15 minutes of their set and then I went over and I left and watched La Tigre and The Rapture instead. But those first 15 minutes were great, but I mean, when else was I going to go see La Tigre and The Rapture at their prime? So I mean, I think I made the right choice and I saw Radiohead later and they were awesome, so. Yeah. I saw them from The Lawn at a concert in, in Florida, I don't remember when. And it was too far away, and I was like, I can see the light show and kind of hear the crowd. So then I just got tickets for the next show at the same venue, and I got like pretty close. And then, yeah, that time it was way better. Uh, probably when I realized that I saw the screen opposite of the way that I bought the tickets. So I was like in the front row, and so oh, the last row. Shit. So I walked the into the theater, That's and I was good. like, nope. And I just left. That might have been Force Awakens. Yeah, because I, <laughs> I never really did the whole reserved seating thing. And that was like one of my first times doing it. And I just read the front of the screen wrong on the diagram. Mm. So I haven't done that again since. Yeah, I can't remember. I haven't walked out of a movie in a while. I walked out of The Hills Have Eyes on a date. That's and then good. like went to... What was that Paul Walker movie with the with the snow dogs? Was it snow was dogs. it Snow Dogs? Yeah, I walked out of <laughs> Hills Have Eyes and wa and watched Snow Dogs instead. You went oh, on yeah, a yeah. date to Hills Have Eyes? 
Yeah, well, it was kind of a date. Yeah, I think it was, it, was, it was a date. I went on a date to No Country for Old right. Men, and the chick was like, no. <laughs> At least no. it wound up being a date afterward. <laughs> no. That was, that was a little much for a date. Yeah, that <laughs> Just really seeing the whole family sense. getting raped and burned and murdered. Yeah. It's like, all right, maybe we should buy, buy, buy like date. Yeah, that's half, definitely like, top ten most violent movies I've ever seen. Malformed yeah. faces. No, I got one. Warp to a three. Oh, three. Warp to a two crowd surf. I, mean, I crowd surfed at Emo Night to uh, Seos in seven years, and they threw me back up so fast, exactly how I thought it would go, just because, like, I'm six feet tall and... They didn't want any part in that. <laughs> Luckily, in I was three, like, I was like 125 pounds. So yeah. It worked out. Yeah, I've never <laughs> wanted to. Every time I've seen somebody like, oh, I'm going to crowd surf my first time, they, they get injured hurt. themselves. Yeah. So I just don't want to be that guy. But I crowd surfed for like the whole first three tours that we, I did with you guys. They catch yeah. singers. Like, I was like, why am I doing this? Yeah. This is. <laughs> this is, be- this is I mean, it was, it was fun at first, but then it. I was like, damn, this is. This is not even enjoyable anymore. There's a musical, a Disney musical called The Newsies. I would say that it formed my life because my sisters were obsessed with it and watched it every day for like maybe a year. So it forced us all to sing. Um, and that kind of formed just the idea of being able to sing, sing on key, I guess. Maybe 80s horror movies in general, because when I was really little, my cousins would make me watch really disturbing films, Mm. and then they'd make fun of me if I didn't, so then I'd just uh, be traumatized by crazy horror movies, and then eventually I became fascinated with them, and I love horror movies now. I probably watched the making of Star Wars and Jurassic Park more than the movies when I was a kid. Because I get I get bored of the movies because I watched them all the time, so I just watched the making of. Those are cool. First song. Smoke on the water. Yeah, that was the first riff I ever learned. I don't know. Mine was like Offspring on the guitar or something like that. I think. <laughs> I think I just learned chords. Oh, you know what? It was uh, Death Cab for Cutie song. It was like a. I don't even remember the name of the song, but I remember how it goes. When I took over for John, I didn't even take the time to learn a lot of the lyrics, so I would just make up my own. So it's not quite that I forgot parts, it's just that I didn't learn them. So uh, yeah, I don't even know what I was saying back then. Kind of just whatever came off the top of my head. Crazy. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I, I get parts wrong a lot, but I usually sing through it. Like, the verses that are similar on the first time and the second time, I'll just like, oh, even now, on Midnight Crusade, I say can't and won't, and I switch them all the time. (laughs) Like, it's a 50-50 shot. Yeah. That you'll get a can't touch or a won't touch. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, sometimes you just space out. You space out on stage, and then you like look down. And you're like, "Oh, this isn't this is not right at all." I can't remember the first time, but I do it. I mean, I, I, I've been doing it for nine years, so. Yeah. Well, I remember <laughs> that my first show ever was Green Day, and he forgot an entire verse from like one of their big singles, and I was Crazy. just like shocked as a kid. <laughs> like, how do you forget the lyrics of this song? Is like, so I popular. know them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always the worst when the when the crowd knows the music more than you do at that moment and you're like oh shit (laughs) i'm sure that there's people out there that have listened to our music more times than us and more times even even with practice it's true yeah if it's like an uber driver we'll put on i'll put on summertime gladness or something like that to ease them in can't start with screaming gotta start with singing or a guitar part but it's i don't know it's usually good right yeah, it's usually like, well, this isn't what I expected with your name. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I had like a four-year-old um, listen to our music. Someone told me about a four-year-old listening, and <laughs> she said, I like this music, the singing is cute. <laughs> so, that works. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I don't even know if I want to say this one. Um it was like three nights ago for me. Oh, 
trying to think what movie I saw. I think for me it was probably when I watched Inside Out. That yeah, that's like a, a good cry one. Cry fest. Yeah, it's like, yeah. What in the hell? Up, I was not mentally prepared and, for that. And then up in the first like 15 minutes, you. Yeah, pretty much any time I watch a Pixar movies, movie. Yeah. And Wally, dude. Yeah, Pixar. Pixar tugs the heartstrings. Yeah, really. <laughs> I don't even know if they're trying to make movies to enjoy as so much as just destroy it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>